What's up guys? Paramoto here. How are you guys doing today? Today I am doing amazing. Welcome to Holler Monday and like video like 13 I think of uh, video every day June. 13 or 14? I think 14. We're almost halfway there. But guys what I want to talk about today um, is I want to talk about the five things that I hate about my 2020 Harley Davidson Roadster. So two things about this. Number one is I hate is it's kind of a, a stretch here. I would say dislike everything that's reasonable to I'm gonna try to provide a solution to instead of just whining about it thing number one the number one thing that I dislike about this bike that is not readily apparent until you ride at night is the headlight the headlight is dim AF it's almost like it's kind of pointed at the ground and also dim so you kind of get like a double whammy first time you ride at night you're gonna be like whoa I can't see anything and I gotta like put my high beams on just to like be able to see something. Like that's the number one thing that I dislike about it. And it's like, oh, there's a lot of things about motorcycles that kind of seem to be an afterthought. Headlights probably shouldn't be one of them. Headlight can be easily changed. It is almost a plug and play option. But don't fret, young ones. Uh, you can change a headlight out for, you know, a couple hundred bucks off of Amazon. I plan on doing this one just for safety purposes and then uh, what I'd also like to do is I kind of would like to put one of those headlight grills on to have like a cool little like you know retro kind of style theme to it make it look a little bit more aggressive up front but you know that's my number one complaint about the bike is that the headlight stinks my number two gripe about this bike is not from night riding it is from riding in bright sunlight the first time you ride this bike in a bright sunlight you're gonna notice how bad this gauge is so the gauge is number two you can't really see much on it like you can see the tack you know but like the digital like speedometer and like time maybe rpms like whatever you decide to put up there you know it gets pretty hard to see it really does it gets hard to see in a really bright light and as much as i like the retro inspired you know very minimalistic gauge it could be better it, it could totally be better thing also about this gauge that uh, is kind of part of it is the fact that the fuel light uh, which comes on when you're supposed to be on reserve isn't really a reserve it kind of seems to come on randomly there's really no rhyme or reason for it but you know what a good old look with your peepers into the gas tank can solve that problem it, it's another solvable problem you can get different gauges I might do that eventually um, I don't know if I hate it enough but I just, I kind of wish Harley would have, you know, designed the gauge a little bit better. I don't really need a tachometer. My ears are my tachometer. I can hear, you know, when the bike needs to be shifted. I can hear, you know, when it's, you know, starting to rev out. I can feel when the bike's starting to lose power and needs, you know, a, an increased rev band. You know, most of the time, I'm not even looking down at my gauge. I'm just shifting my, by hearing anyway, by hearing and feel. So, you know, like having like a dedicated tack is kind of you know kind of pointless i know how you, you're shifting manually you need you probably should have a tack you can do something kind of cool with it where you have like a, a digital display that looks kind of cool like a watch and then have like a ring led that goes up every time you know and then just have little hash marks so the number three thing that i have a, a gripe about this bike with is the uh the fit and finish the fit and finish on this bike could be a lot better harley davidson it could be a lot better there's a couple of things that really you know jump out is the fact that this grip just turns this and that's not the throttle that's this is not the throttle but this grip just spins there's little scratches on this bike from seemingly minor incidents that probably wouldn't have scratched anything else like there's a little scratch on this tank from a book bag from a book bag like really and then like the my back fender is is kind of wrecked for putting the sissy bar on and off and that's for putting a smoothly painted surface on top of another smoothly painted surface so i don't know where all the scratches are really coming from that's my third gripe about this bike and the fit and finish of it number four gripe about this bike is the turn signals so every other bike in the world has one-sided turn signals there's a left it's it's one knob it's an intuitively designed feature you you, you turn the knob to the left to, to indicate left you put it to the right to indicate right and you push down in the center to cancel it but harley decides to put a turn signal on both your uh, your grips on both your handle both sides of the handlebar so you guys are probably like wow that is a really petty gripe on a pretty nice motorcycle the gripe is when you turn right because i don't care what size monkey paws you that you have you have to kind of let go of the throttle to indicate right which is kind of a big deal like if you follow any sort of motorcycle safety foundation teaching that like your your right hand is one thing it's either on the on the on the brake or it's on the gas so what i have to do to get to this turn signal is i have to literally 
and when we're stopped here, I'll show you, get to the right turn signal while I'm throttling. So let's just say I'm in a neutral position and I'm throttling. You can see that. What I have to do to get to here, because my thumb doesn't clear this, right, is I have to pull back and try to maintain my throttle with just friction and then hit it and then come back on the throttle, which is just unnecessary. Now, is that the biggest gripe in the world? No. And none of these are deal breakers. These are just minor things that you notice over time. It's just why have two buttons when one works perfectly well? Like it just doesn't make sense to have two of them. So that comes to our final gripe about my Harley Davidson. And again, more petty nonsense, but this is something that kind of annoys me. Is the fact that if you overfill this bike in oil, like you go all the way to that max fill line, you know, what will end up happening is that you'll get oil coming out your uh, air intake. Which, I mean, is well and good. It's not going to really kill a lot. I mean, it's not really going to harm too much. But the fact of the matter is, it gets gummy in your air filter. Your air filter is supposed to filter air, not oil, you know? And uh, to be honest with you, it could just as easy put, like, um, an optimal fill line on it. Like, min, max, and then put, like, a line across the dipstick and just be like, you know, this is where you need to shoot for to have maximum lube inside of your engine and all the fancy bits and uh you know that's your max line this is your your minimum line here's your optimal line and this way you'll get the maximum you know, you know lubrication to your engine as well as not shooting oil out of your uh, air intake you know i mean they could easily do that i mean i'm sure harley knows exactly how many quarts go in this you know without spilling over i'm, I'm sure harley knows ex the exact amount you know it's really not that big of a deal it's i mean it's really not that big of a deal but the fact of the matter comes down to, you know, that it's kind of annoying. No deal breakers here, no nonsense, but just little annoyances. But anyway, guys, that's my list of five things that I hate about my 2020 Harley Davidson Roadster. Hate being an absolute over-exaggeration. None of this is a deal breaker for me. None of this is that big of a deal at all. And most of these things are totally fixable. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. I'll just, just take it. This is my two cents. Every Everybody's, you know... Everybody's entitled to their opinions, but you know, that's just mine on some minor issues. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching as I find, try to find a, a spot to park that'll be shady, but there doesn't seem to be a lot. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys watching Video Everyday June. If you haven't already, as I step through Cheerios, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.